We are here at AWS reInvent 2024. I'm Brian Westbrook with GeekWire Studios, chatting with the Chief Technology for Cohesity, Greg Martell, so excited that you're here with me. Thank you you have had an amazing career at companies like Lyft, Dropbox, LinkedIn, and running AI for the Pentagon, the Department of Defense. I have to start by asking, you're an AI person, why would you choose a data protection company like Cohesity for your next step in your career? Brian, that's a great question. Um, th there's two answers to that. One is, in order to do AI, you got to get your data right. And getting your data right means knowing where it is, knowing what's important, make sure it's safe, and being able to access it. Cohesity's been working for the last 11 years in order to get that strong and in great shape. So that's a, there's a real technical founding there that really helps me think about how we can grow AI based on that. Um, but I also have a personal relationship with the company. I've been, I've been watching it uh, from the beginning. The, I'm very impressed by the founder, Mulhit Aran. And one of his things that really motivated me early on, and I was keeping an eye on the company because of it, was his idea of wanting to be able to do analytics directly on top of secondary data. What does that mean? It means being able to use your backup data directly as a source to do business analytics, to be able to do AI, to be able to figure out what your business needs. That's really motivating, because if you think about the massive amount of data that's backed up, right. and, and, and which actually represents different phases of your business. So if you're building a model that's worried about how we might have another recession, then being able to get the data from the past recession is really helpful. So I'm very excited about the, the whole thing that they've built, and it's, it's, it's a natural next step for me. It sounds interesting, and I want to hone in on this in a little minute. Using the data that's already there in your archives, we talk a lot about bringing in new data or transforming the data or bringing it into these AI models. How is it that you found that's working? Is it, is it successful to be able to go to the archives, if you will, Absolutely. to pull up the next generation. Absolutely, so we've released a product last year called Gaia, which stands for a generative AI agent. I really like that, because it's also a Greek goddess. There you go. Right? So we released this product called Gaia, which allows you to have a, a chat GPT-like interface with your backup data. So you can ask it questions like, um, please give me a summary of that cyber event that happened last year, or please summarize my email thread with Brian right. about this topic and being able to type that in and immediately get that, that information from the past is way easier. Think about how you would do it now. You'd have to unarchive your, your Microsoft 365 or yeah. your, your, your Gmail, and you'd, go, you'd be searching through all of these threads. We have set it up now where you can just ask that question. Um, and that's really impressive, and, and yeah. So, tell me about, that all sounds great in theory. What are the customers finding that you're deploying this to? Obviously you're using this internally, what are those customers saying, the ones that have tried this out? Yeah, so, you know, it's really interesting. We also released just recently a, a product called Topic Explorer. Okay. And it analyzes all of your, your data that we have backed up, and it gives it topics, and the, the, the size of the word tells you how much data is there. Okay, One, like a word cloud. Like it's your yeah, word cloud, yeah. it's 100% a word cloud. So what's really, a really interesting use case that we didn't predict is people want to move their data from expensive storage to cheaper storage. Sure. So they look at this topic and they say, does this topic need to be in expensive storage? No. So then they can deep dive. So we've done the analysis. Yeah. All of these docs are about this topic. And then they can figure out to move it off to uh, much uh, yeah. to a glacier or something right, right, right. much less expensive. So that was a use case that we didn't even expect. We, there's, people are using it to ask those questions, like I said, but then this use case came out of nowhere. We were really excited about that. And one of the things that I love is events like this where you can chat with customers and say, oh, we found a way to kind of pivot that and use it. And you're like, oh, we didn't even think of that. This morning, something happened. AI is a great example of a lot of different use cases. What are some other conversations you're having with customers and, and individuals that here at reInvent that maybe you're just like, oh, you said this morning, what was that about? What can you tell us? So, so um, we're thinking in general yeah. about how do we utilize this data that's backed up to provide insights into your business? Okay. So, Traditionally, data protection, data security, um, data resilience, you back it up and it's there until an emergency happens. Right. And we are great at that. We can do instantaneous restore. We have, because it's a file system, you can have access to that data over time. We're really great at that. But other than that, it's sitting there not providing business insights. So we've been asking customers, if you could have access to this data, what kind of insights would you get out of it? What kind of questions would you ask? What would you like to be able to do? And one question I got today that I hadn't thought about is, as I'm building a model, can you track the provenance of all of the data that went into that model? Because that allows me to go to the risk mitigation folks and say, this is why this model is safe. Mm. So governance, uh, risk mitigation, how to track 
the way things are built. We didn't think, I mean, we thought about it sort of vaguely, but it became really important today to this one customer. So those kinds of conversations are priceless. That's amazing. And uh, one other thing that happened at reInvent this year, you were awarded Storage Partner of the Year Global. Yeah. That's from Amazon Web Services, AWS. Tell us about that and what does that mean to the company? Obviously these awards are great, they motivate the team, but that represents a significant development in, 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 your, in your time over the, over the past few months. So, so if you think about what a backup company does is we help people store their data. And so not only do we store our data, a, a large chunk of our data on, on Amazon AWS, but a large chunk of our customers' data gets stored on Amazon AWS as well. And um, so, so I think that was the drive behind, behind that award. But once that data is there on AWS, we get to ask really interesting questions, like how can Amazon's tools utilize that data to give even more insights into our customers', customers business? So we're announcing this year that we're, we're starting conversations with uh, Amazon about how we can integrate Bedrock, yep. which is their foundational model service, with the data on Cohesity to make it easier for joint customers to quickly build and deploy Bedrock-based models using the data that's on the Cohesity platform. So Gaia is becoming a part of Amazon that's Bedrock. Right. You guys oh, are so Gaia is becoming integrated. Integrated, 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 integrated right, sorry, yeah, fair. If you were to say one headline between AWS and Cohesity from here at reInvent, what would that be? Better together. I mean, the, the ability for a partner like Amazon and all of the tools that they bring, so think about it, it's not just storage. Yeah. Amazon brings Bedrock, Amazon brings um, Q, Amazon brings SageMaker, all of these things that you use to build, to, to use the data, you use these tools to leverage the data in your company to build value for, for your business. Our being able to integrate with as many of those as possible is going to bring much more value to joint customers and we're really excited about that. Absolutely, well I'm excited about this conversation. Always great to catch up with you. Craig Martell, Chief Technology Officer for Cohesity. I'm Brian Westbrook, this is GeekWire Studios at AWS reInvent 2024.